Good morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Ah, well, <laughs> it's uh, it's a day. <laughs> so I have a little bit of time before I go to work, and I thought I'd sit and have a chat with you. And let's see if I can make you a little straighter. That uh, didn't help. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> um, I think you're up too high. Hang on. Okay, well, that was an epic fail, but <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm in my, what used to be my yarn room on the other side <laughs> of my room. Um, yeah, no longer yarn. Well, I got yarn all over the place, but it's, I've got a crib in here and <laughs> eventually we'll be putting a bed in here, but, um, yeah, so I thought this would be a little bit better than sitting in my living room on my couch <laughs> but uh oh god um so anyway I'm feeling a lot better oh that was five days of pure hell now George is going through it but he's not going through near what I was um so thank god because he's the breadwinner of the family and um he needs to work <laughs> so he's able to work and muddle through this stomach virus whatever the hell it was um i don't wish that on my worst enemy i'll tell you what like it was it was not not fun but um anyway so <clears throat> yeah i went to work yesterday and whew, lots of stuff was happening while i was gone i'll tell you um the market did sell and I don't know how much of this I put in my last clip. But anyways, the market sold. And I'm still locked in till the end of January. Unless the new owners decide to let me go. Uh, it's totally up to this new owner. I've heard good and lots of bad about this guy. But I'm out of there in a couple months. So I don't care. <laughs> I just have to get through the next couple of months. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I put in a few orders, not yarn orders, uh, orders for stuff for my shop for Christmas. Um, so I'm just waiting for that stuff to come through. Uh, I, I cheated, you guys. <laughs> because I can't, I'm only one person and I cannot do it all. So I cheated and I got some hats and fingerless gloves and some mittens and some kids toys and um, some a few squishmallowy things and, you know, just to fill my store um, to get me through. Don't have the money for that. Had to borrow from George. <laughs> but. You know what? It it is it's okay because once I'm out of there, then I can really do what I want with my shop. I took George to the shop yesterday, the new shop. Um, the guys, the guy that's there is still trying to sell off all his stuff, but he had some shelving and and whatnot that I wanted to go take a look at. And he cut us a deal on some shelving and whoo, I am, I am so excited. Uh, was it a chunk of money? Yeah, it was. But in the grand scheme of things, the shelving that I've got, I would have paid two, three times the amount just to get it here and everything. Like these pieces were too big. He didn't want to have to pack them out. And store them so um, I was like yeah okay and it's uh, all the walls are slat walls I found out that they're not taking down the one wall they're actually going to go on the other side where the restaurant is and they're going to um, uh, insulate it and all of that kind of stuff so um, yeah so I guess my shops not, not getting ripped apart which means the other side is also slat wall and I've got a whole bunch of grid wall. So 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my grid wall into floor displays. And because I realized when I got in there, I have quite a bit of room, quite a bit. George was actually shocked. He was, he kind of went in there and went, oh, and I was like, mm, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be nice. It's going to be good. So now I'm trying to figure out, I've never worked with slat wall before. I know that there's a lot more you can do with slat walls. So yeah, uh, I got to figure out how to display my yarn and everything because the bookcases that I have, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to need anymore. Uh, I don't think so. Those might be coming home and being brought back in here. Oh, and then I could put more yarn in it. Ah, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I've got to figure all that out, but, um, yeah, George, George was impressed. He's like, huh, hmm. the whole shop is done in that forest green that is, that I put on that wall with the mural in my shop, the dark forest green, the whole shop is that color. Even the display is that color. So <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out like, because they said, you know, pick a color, whatever color you want, and I'll get somebody in here to paint it free of charge. And I thought, okay, great. Um, <clears throat> I'm really thinking about having them make it a light color because the, like having one wall with that color in it is fine, but having the whole place in that is it it really makes it dark there is um a lot of <clears throat> excuse me ceiling lights like um you know those kind of lights that like there's three in a row and you can turn them whichever way you want there's a whole bunch of them all on the ceiling so i don't think that lighting is going to be an issue but i think that it, it i think it needs to be lightened up so I'm trying to figure out if I should just go with like an eggshell or something like that. And then I can, because I really want my stuff to jump off the wall, right? And it's not going to do that if everything's green. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get them to do like an eggshell or something. Um semi-gloss whatever uh <clears throat> but yeah so yeah I'm looking forward to getting that shop going and I think it's going to be much better uh for us um and I'm I'm looking forward to the future so but I think what that shop was one of the only major gift shops um, on that strip like it it was a big it used to be a big furniture store and so it was a massive gift shop everything you wanted everything you could imagine things you didn't even know you needed um, was in that shop so I know that it's going to make a big hole in the community uh, as, and especially with tourist season um, so the two shops that are going in there with me, like on the other side, are not gift shops at all, right? So I'm thinking it would be probably smart if I kind of jumped on the old owner's coattails a little bit and made half my shop gift shop, like gift shop kind of stuff. That's where my sublimation stuff comes into play. Uh, so... Yeah, so I'm going to have like half yarn shop, half gift shop, like I kind of had before, but bigger. Um, bring in more t-shirts, bring in like, um, I make my own t-shirts. I can like, there's sky's the limit in what I can do. Uh, so that way my shop is an all year round kind of shop. So yeah, but anyway, enough of that talk. Uh, I, I forgot that I hadn't shown you, I, I had a couple comments. Um, I hadn't shown you that sweater that I was making with 
what was I using? Um, the Home Slim. Yeah, Chanel Home Slim. So it wasn't that color. So let's see if I can show it to you. It's a big sweater, guys. <laughs> it it turned out really nice. Oh. oh, let me see if I can. I don't know if I can turn you guys. Oh, oh, here it is. I'll show you up close. All the baubles. So, yeah, and then the, the collar is front back post, front back, front post, back post. There we go. Um, but yeah, and then I got, I was going to do um, like the, the big cuff, but it ended up that the sleeve was actually long enough that I didn't have to do that. So I just put like one row of front post back post so yeah but oh is it soft it's so plush i know that this is gonna sell fast oh, okay bring you guys back Ooh, excuse the mess in the back don't even <laughs> anyways i know that this is going to sell really quickly I am really concerned about the washing. Um, I've never used this stuff before for a wearable. I've only used it for amigurumi. So I don't, I don't know guys. Have you guys used this in a wearable? I know that I've heard that this stuff can worm. So what do I tell people? Do I say wash it in cold water and lay flat to dry do i say wash it in cold water and put it on a delicate dry uh tumble or tumble dry or like don't like i have no idea <clears throat> because what does the label say oh of course i don't have my glasses on uh Oh, wonderful. It has no washing instructions. Oh, wash. Oh, God. I need my glasses. Hold on. Okay, so I'm in complete denial about how blind I'm getting. You know, I have like 12 pairs of glasses. Can't find a one. I go looking all over the house for them, and they're in my bloody pocket. Like, really? Oh, God. Anyway. Okay. So, it says... Wash in warm. Do not bleach. Dry flat. Do not iron. Dry clean with with any solvent except whatever. <sighs> so <clears throat> wash in warm water and lay flat. Dry flat. <sighs> yeah. So okay. Well. <sighs> Yeah, you guys let me know in the comments. What do you think I should do? Um, because once it's out of my hands, I can't control what happens. But I'm hoping I can send them on the right path. <laughs> it's like, use this, like, with, a, like, delicate touch. <clears throat> now, if I put my glasses down there, I know I'm not going to remember where I put them. Okay. <clears throat> So, I love the way it turned out. Will I make another one? Probably not. Just because of the washing uh, aspect of it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it really makes me nervous. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> what else? Um, it's a brisk cold October day we now have frost which makes me kind of nervous but it's going to be good for business <laughs> um yeah I I told George I says okay 
you're going to have to break out your knitting machine. <coughs> Excuse me, because I'm selling his hats really quickly. Oh, God, I got stuff in my eye. <laughs> um, I'm a hot mess today, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, he's going to have to break out the knitting machine. It's football season, you know, so usually in football season, he starts making hats. He hadn't had to last year because we didn't, I don't, did we do craft fairs last year? I don't even remember. I think we did, but he, <clears throat> he had made a, uh, 88 hats and I'm almost out of them. So, and we're not even at Christmas. Oh God. So. Yeah, he's going to have to. Hmm. Okay, so coffee is not sitting with my stomach very well. Stomach's not quite better. <clears throat> anyway, God, I'm squirreling all over the place today. What is wrong with me? Um, Yeah, so he's going to have to break that open and, or break it out and start making hats again. He says, I don't even know if I remember how. <laughs> I says, well, we're going to have to figure that out together. <clears throat> I have a lady that wants uh, a couple of scarves made by ha Halloween. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get him to crank them out, hopefully tonight, on the knitting machine. And uh, and be done with that. <sighs> um, what else? I'm, I'm not going to do any more commission stuff, I don't think. Uh, cause I just, I, I need to get stuff done for my shop. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try my hardest to get on a sweater kick. Oh, my waffle stitch sweater that I'm doing. I don't, I'm never going to get that done in time. <laughs> I just, I've got like that much done and I'm just like, wow, this is taking forever. You know, because I'm so used to using a big hook and big yarn and, and just getting it done, right? Like, I'm not used to making sweaters that take a long, like, the progress is longer. That's why I don't knit. I, I, I can't stand that. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to have that as a side thing and work on other things um, be, uh, in the meantime, just so I can get something done. So, yeah, I'm looking around at my yarn going, huh. <laughs> like, what can I use to make a sweater quick? So, anyway, because <clears throat> I've only got maybe four sweaters to put in my shop. Yeah. Oh, um, also, I made the decision that when I get my new shop going, like my, my channel has kind of been put on the back burner a little bit and I'm so sorry. Um, <clears throat> I, I did not anticipate <clears throat> that having my shop was going to take up, <clears throat> excuse me, the majority of my time like that. I mean, I knew it was going to take up a lot of time, but I really thought that I was going to be able to have enough time to do videos still and it just didn't work that way because I thought okay I could do them at the shop and whatever no it didn't happen <clears throat> too much buzz going on and I hate trying to do video clips at the shop and then having somebody nattering or you know stuff like that so <clears throat> I made a decision when I get the new shop going I'm gonna go in earlier uh in the mornings and I'm going to take that time to do a video um, and then hopefully if I can get a new computer because um, my my computer, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but the framing on my screen, it's it bent out a little bit and I can't close my my laptop. So that's my home laptop. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm hoping to be able to get another um, laptop, whether it be refurbished or whatever, and have that at the shop <clears throat> so that I can upload all of my stuff at the shop. 
So that way I can kind of <clears throat> work uh, on my channel while I'm there. So, and that, it'll be easier that way too, because if I have yarn orders come in, which I'm going to be having come to the shop now, because I can do that, <laughs> um, then I can do the unboxing right there. Um, I think that's going to give me a lot more flexibility to be able to do both, because I feel really guilty that I haven't been uploading <clears throat> God, my throat's bugging me today. <clears throat> uh, I've been really feeling guilty that I haven't been able to to do as much on my channel. Um, I used to do really well. Like, I, I'd always upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, you know? And I've epically failed on that. So, my channel's not going anywhere. And I I, I need to fix that. I don't like that and I need to fix that so in the new year um, I'm gonna work on that and I hopefully will have a little space in my shop with my yarn in the background like I used to have where I can um, film so yeah <clears throat> so anyway uh, actually there's one little space. It's like a little nook with the window. It's like a big window, uh, uh, front window. My plan is, is having a little round table in there with a chair uh, so that if anybody comes in and wants to sit and crochet and knit, have a cup of coffee, because I'm going to have a coffee maker in there, um, have a cup of coffee. They can sit and, and just relax. I'm um, hoping maybe, and my yarn will be up against that wall. Maybe I'll be able to film there because then I'll have the light coming in. And um, yeah, hmm. yeah, we'll have to try that. <clears throat> so anyway, that is my plan uh, because I, I really want my channel to do what I wanted it to do before. I've been on YouTube now for... Gosh, we're, this is my fifth year, I guess. Wow. Oh, I guess George is home. It's my fifth year. And I haven't even hit 4,000 subscribers. So I'm going, wow. Like, I really need to get on the ball, right? Um, And I just feel like, you know, when I do do a video and I get the comments saying, wow, hey, haven't seen you in a while. I was wondering about where, you know, what you're doing, how you are. It's good to see you. I, I, my guilt, I just go, oh, I feel like I've let you guys down. So um, I know, I know, I know you guys are going to say, no, 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 don't worry about it. You've been busy. And all. no, you know, I, there's no excuse. If I'm going to have a channel, then I better buck up and actually do my channel, you know, so I started this for a reason and I want to continue it. So, yeah. Um, oh, and I bought this. I don't know if I showed you this before. I bought this a long time ago. And um, I got to remember how it works. It's uh, It comes up like this. And your phone sits in here. Right? And it's got a light and everything. So... I got to try and figure out how to put it back. Um, so I'm thinking if I take this to the shop, I'll be able to do tutorials at the shop. Hello, dear. Oh, a crochet bee sighting. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> so, um, so I'm hoping I can take that. That that setup is way better than the setup that I used to have or doing. Like I had all the things, right? I'm hoping with that I'll be able to do my tutorials on my cell phone uh, and it'll be com compact. So I'm hoping that's going to be a good thing <clears throat> um, because I, you know, I want to get more tutorials out again. I was on such a roll before. <sighs> oh, well, live and learn. Um but now, at least at the new shop, I will be able to slot time, whether it's before I open the shop or when I close the shop. 
right? So, um, it, yeah, so that's going to be great. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go. Um, thank you for joining me. And if I have anything more to tell you, I will let you know. <laughs> uh, until next time, um, do all the things, you know, subscribe, like, all that stuff, comment. I love getting your comments. Your comments make my day, right? I love waking up in the morning and seeing your comments and uh, and sitting there with my coffee. I don't always comment on the comments because um, I, I don't have time or, you know, things happen. But I do like them all. I do heart them all um, just to let you know that, yeah, I've seen your comment. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I love you so much. And thank you so much for being patient and supportive. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to get back at it, guys. <sighs> okay. I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.